partner and I was in Publix the other day and I seen a yellow dragon fruit so I thought I would grab it and eat it so before I do that I'm gonna go ahead and slice it and remove some seeds so I could go ahead and plant some dragon fruit now the last time I did this I planted the seeds to dragon fruit and they're looking really good I started separating some so basically this is all of them that I have below the lettuce over here so those were the red dragon fruit with the white inside I got them from Publix just like I got this one from Publix since they're doing so good I wanted a different variety so when I seen that they had the yellow I said let me grab it if you want to go ahead and grow some dragon fruit just get yourself a dragon fruit and slice it down the middle you'll notice that there's plenty of seeds on both sections so last time I took these seeds out and I put them on a paper towel and let them dry for a day or two and when I went to scrape them off majority of them came off but a lot of them stuck to the paper towel so what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to place them on parchment paper. But first I'm going to go ahead and put them on a little cutting board. And then dry them, pat them, dry them off and then put them on the parchment paper. I feel if they dry on the parchment paper they'll come off easier. We'll find out. So to remove seeds... Let me move the camera closer. Okay, so to remove the seeds, really simple. They're starting to come out. All you got to do is do this. So you can see right there is a bunch of seeds. Spread them out for you. Okay, so to get more seeds, all you have to do is slice it. You can separate the flush if you want. Just to show you the edible. Tastes delicious. And when you eat it, you got seeds. Just save the seeds. Just clean the seeds out. Got seeds all over now. 
Okay, there's some seeds on here. Just go ahead and pick them out. And you could eat the rest of the flesh off of that. Now down on the table, same thing. Just go ahead and scrape more seeds off. Okay, I'm going to do the rest of these off camera, but let me show you what I'm going to do with these now. Okay, got a little bowl with some water in it. Just going to throw the seeds in there like that. Stir them up a little. And you see that? The seeds are getting stirred up in here. That's just going to remove some of the, uh, the slime that's on them. And then I got a little scooper. I'm going to take the seeds out like that. Can you see that? And then I'll put them on the parchment paper. But first, I want to get some more seeds out. Before I eat this dragon fruit. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and put them in a little bin like this. With water. Like a tomato seed. And just leave them in there and let them soak. And I'm hoping while they soak, all the all this slime, the coating will come off. So I'm just going to let these sit here and I'll get back to you. Okay, so this time I'm putting them on parchment paper because they stuck to the paper towel. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and finish up and get more seeds, but I'm going to take that parchment paper and I'm going to set it over um, a tray over there, and I'm going to let it dry for a day or two. Once those seeds are dry, I'll be back at you and we'll plant them, and hopefully they get to look like the others. Okay, hey, good morning. I'm back over here. My dragon fruit seeds had a chance to dry, so let's remove them and plant them. It's first thing in the morning, it's dark out. I always wake up early, it's like 3.30 a.m. So, got my coffee. Mm. Delicious coffee. Okay, so, I'm gonna set them in here so they don't fall. You see I have my seeds, they're all laid out, and you see they're stuck on the parchment paper. So, I'm placing this, I'm placing the paper in a bin because when you go to scrape them off, they're gonna, they're gonna fall on the floor if you just do it on a table, so. I'm going to take one of my markers, these are my label markers, and I'm just going to do this. Maybe you can see that here. I'm just going to take this, I'm going to go like this real lightly. You see how they just come off like that? Okay, it's hard for me to do it this way, so I'm just going to do it this way. Okay, turn this around. Do this 
Okay. There you go. They all came off. Okay, so... Here's my seeds, tap them off. Okay, so I have my seeds on a piece of paper over here. Now I have myself some pots and I put some potting soil in it. So what I'm gonna do So I'm just going to grab me some seeds and I'm just going to sprinkle them. On there like that. And then I'm going to take some soil. I'll take it out of this pot. See the seed the seeds are in here right now. So you don't want to push down, you don't want to spread, but I'm going to take some soil, like this, and I'm going to sprinkle it on them like that. Okay, so that one is planted. <clears throat> I'll do the same thing with this one. <clears throat> and I'll do the same thing. I'll cover them up with some soil like this. Just a little bit of soil. Real flaky. Pat it down just a little bit like that. Okay, that one's done. Now do the same thing with this one. Take some seeds. Now I'm watching where the seeds fall. Okay, now I'm going to take some soil, my seeds, you probably can't see that, but maybe you can. My seeds are in there. Now I'm just going to take some soil, a little bit of time, and I'm going to sprinkle it. Just enough. Just enough to get it over all of them. And then I'm going to tap it down, just very lightly. Okay, got one more thing of soil here. Got some more seeds. Now some of these seeds are sticking. That's okay. I'm just gonna separate them a little bit. Some are not.
Okay, these seeds, I think I could have let these seeds dry out a few more hours or another day. Because some of them are sticking. Not all of them, just some of them. I'm going to go ahead and use them up anyway. That's okay though, the seeds that are sticking are still going to grow. Okay, so here I am, I got soil on this one. Pat it down just a little bit. Just like that. Okay, so I did four. Let me get this out of the way. Now, of course, what you want to do is you want to you want to mark them so you mark them that way you know what they are. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to water these. Just grab yourself some drinking water and a cat and a pin so what you want to do is you just want to go ahead and poke holes in it like this that's poking a hole in it I'm over here so I'm just going to poke holes in it just like this it's real easy just work your way around Okay, if you can see that, there's holes in the cap now. Put this somewhere safe. Okay, so you, when you screw on the cap, you're going to be able to turn it upside down. The cap's not on strong, so let me do it again. So you're going to be able to go around like this. Can you see that coming out right there? And wet everything down. Okay, till it comes out the bottom. Do another one. Just like that. Get all of it. Until it comes out the bottom. Okay, I try to give you a little close up over here. So just take your water and go like this. Do you see the way it's coming out? It's just sprinkling out nice and lightly. To so just do it till it starts coming out the bottom. And here's one more. This cap isn't a good cap. So it's leaking out the side of the cap. But that's okay. I got more caps. Okay, here. That's it. Almost a bottle on four. So these are all watered. So the only thing I need to do now is make labels for all of them.
like you always say, you want to use a graphite pencil because when you write on the label, it stays on there permanent. It doesn't fade with the sun. And you could wipe it off with alcohol if you ever want to change it. When you use a Sharpie, the sun makes it fade. Okay, so now that they're watered and labeled, and what we want to do is you want to take these and set them in the plastic bag, just like that. They fit perfectly in there. And you want to seal the top like that. There you go. That's a miniature greenhouse right here. Just make sure they're closed. Okay. So here you have it. So now let's go ahead and move them in their propagation place. Okay, so here I am in front of my light station. I have them in the miniature greenhouse. And I'm just going to go ahead and place them. See, I'm placing them right here. Because this has a heating pad in it. You see the heating pad? So now they have heat. They have soil. They have water. And a little bit of a greenhouse effect. And now those are going to go ahead and turn into little dragon fruit shortly. And then I will separate them when they get bigger. These are a red outside with a white inside. And these that I just did are a yellow outside with a whitish inside. These tasted really good to me. And these, when I ate them yesterday, because when I took the seeds out, I ate it. I just didn't throw it out. Um, it tasted terrific. I love the taste of the yellows. So basically it cost me zero. I spent roughly $4 for the dragon fruit in Publix. The same with that one. $4. I only took out so many seeds. If I wanted to, I could have got every single seed out of there and made like 2,000 plants. But I just wanted a few plants. I don't need that many. And I got to eat the fruit. So since I bought it to eat it, and I decided to save some seeds and plant them, it cost me nothing. Okay, I got a little bit of soil in there, and I got a pot. Basically, it cost me nothing. So this is how I go ahead and gather my seeds from a dragon fruit, how I dry them out, how I go ahead and plant them in the soil, seed start in soil, put a little bit of soil over it, pat it down just a little bit, showed you how I water it, how I put it in a little baggie, which is a greenhouse effect, and put it on a heat mat. Now just let Mother Nature take its course, and before long, this is what I'm going to have, a whole bunch of them like that. 
Now, I already separated a bunch of these. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait for these to get a little bigger before I separate them. Because by then, all the plants that I have here will be outside hardening or they'll be in the garden. And I'll have more shelf space. If I went ahead and separated these now, I would use up all my shelf space. So work smarter, not harder. Back at you. Hope you enjoyed.